Welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins. Join me in this painting of mine where I paint a poppy meadow. I had some limited time to paint because of a crazy day and I really enjoyed this beautiful field of poppies. I'll be sharing this video here on Monet Cafe of course but also on my Patreon page. If you'd like to become a patron you can do so for just five dollars a month and you can cancel at any time. This painting is part of a challenge with my patrons called 12 Days of Healing. We're really having a great time. And even though this is a speed version, I still actually learn a lot myself just from watching the process of watching someone paint. So just relax and enjoy this. I am going to mention here some of my supplies. Uh, the pastel paper that I'm using here is called Pastel Matte. I got it in a pad of paper and uh, this is kind of a peachy uh, warm color. I do really like it. And uh, I, in the series of the 12 Days of Healing, uh, I'm personally doing five by five paintings. All of the paintings I'm doing are five by five. Um, my patrons participating, they can, you know, pick whatever size, but I do recommend something kind of small. So it's, it's um, a challenge to paint every day for 12 days and really just enjoy the process. Um, I am actually finding it a bit challenging myself because I'm, I'm uploading videos of every single painting, having to film myself and edit them and upload them. And um, so thus, that's why this one I chose just to make a little speed version. Oh, cause I have another one I've got to edit too. And uh, I'm gonna get to that one tomorrow. Um, but anyway, so uh, watching this, you should learn a lot, but I have the pastel matte paper. I am using uh, right there, uh, that pastel there is a Giro. I'm using a lot of Giro pastels right there. I was cutting it. Uh, they're longer. They're double the size of what you see there and I cut them with a little cigar cutter. It cuts them perfectly in half with a nice clean cut and uh, it makes it a more manageable size um, for painting. Um, but these Giro pastels, it's a French word and the French company makes them and the set that I'm using is called the Elizabeth Mowry, she's a wonderful pastel artist, M-O-W-R-Y, um, Poetic Landscape Set. And you can't get that set on like Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama or some of the other art supply retailers. Um, but if you type in the name of that set, if you wanted it, Elizabeth Mowry, Poetic Landscape, um, Giro Pastel if you want, but you, you wouldn't even need to say that. You can find the, the companies like Pastels Inc. or something like that. But I love this set of pastels. I do have another video here on Monet Cafe that features just this set of pastels. Now those larger, chunkier ones you're seeing right there, pretty much all of the pastels you see that are dark uh, were the Terry Ludwig dark pastels. Um, now what I'm doing here, I have a little piece of pipe foam insulation and uh, I, well not now anymore, but I use the pipe foam insulation to blend. Do you notice how those trees look softer now? It's an excellent ben blending tool, which um, if you see at the bottom where I haven't blended, now I'm blending, um, it leaves like um, little spaces on the paper that you see. Blending, it kind of softens that up. Uh, and then you just continue the layering process. Now my reference photo didn't have a trail going back like that, but I always like to uh, do some sort of uh, visual trail that pulls the eye back instead of just a flat field. One of the things I love in painting is just creating depth, uh, creating that three-dimensional aspect and giving the viewer's eyes something to look at along the way as you strive as an artist to pull their eye and their attention around your painting to give it interest. So that little trail kind of does that too. Now I, even though I know the grass is going to be green, I'm putting down kind of a warm underpainting uh, to give that grass um, something to lay upon. Uh, I love how Karen Margulis says laying the dirt down and that's a perfect way to put it because that's really uh, what you're doing. You've got to have something for your pastels to contrast and um, warm colors like that usually do that with grass. Um, so uh, that's pretty much all the supplies. The pastel matte paper, the Giro, uh, Elizabeth Mowry poetic landscape set, and um, the Terry Ludwig pastels and that's really it. And this painting ended up being very vibrant. I had a goal of painting uh, for 30 minutes, but I probably doubled that. <laughs> um, but anyway, this was a fun, nice little painting. And um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try it. And of course, if you're one of my patrons, remember to share it in our Google album. And we're going to have some prizes for my patrons if you participate in the painting challenge. So keep that in mind, patrons. And again, if you'd like to become a patron, uh, there is a clickable link at the end of this video. Um, but all of my all of my social media and patron links are all in the about section of this video. So, okay, now I'm really going to add some music. You guys enjoy. 
Happy painting. Please watch to the end of this video. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, feel free to watch any of my other videos. All right, guys. Happy painting.
Flight Artist, I hope you enjoyed that little speed demonstration and uh, I hope that you are getting some artistic time because art is truly therapeutic. Again, if you'd like to become a patron, there's the link right there. Please subscribe to my channel and check out more videos if you like. Be blessed and happy painting.